How's it going gamers? Chongo here and today I've got a gameplay commentary for you guys. The gameplay is of Mirror's Edge on the PC and today's commentary topic is going to be talking about EA and how they're trying to change their image. So let's get into it. So first off, if you haven't heard, there's a new Humble Bundle and it is the Origin Bundle. Now, if you pay, I think it's above the average, which at the moment of recording is about $4.80. And when I purchased it a couple of days ago, it was still around that price. So basically, if you pay $5, you are then able to unlock 8 games. Now, these 8 games are Dead Space 1, Burnout Paradise, Crisis 2, Mirror's Edge, Dead Space 3, Medal of Honor, Battlefield 3, and The Sims 3 with some starter packs, so that includes some extra DLC. So first off, if you haven't seen this before, or you don't know, understand what a Humble Bundle is, basically what it is, is usually it's a bunch of indie devs who put up some games, and you can pay a certain amount and get all the games that you want, and then you can choose to split the amount of money that you donate for the developers, as well as the Humble Bundle team themselves, as well as a charity. This is how it usually works, however, for EA's case, what they've decided to do is completely cut themselves out of the cut altogether so this means they're getting absolutely nothing from the sale besides goodwill they're not getting any money or anything like that all of this is only going to charities or the humble bundle team themselves so anyway i'd recommend anyone who wants a game in this bundle to definitely go and buy it and especially pay for the extra four dollars eighty or however much it is to get battlefield 3 and the sims i mean there's a lot of good games in there and you definitely can't go wrong and even if you don't like one of those games it's still worth it to get one that you do even if it's only like five dollars for one game now for people that are kind of thinking why would would EA be doing this? What do they have to gain from offering all this stuff to charity? And I think at the moment, the sales of this Humble Bundle have been like the best ever, and I think around about $7 million has gone to charity. So it's been really successful, and it's obviously really good. And the main thing EA is getting out of this is goodwill. So people are coming to them thinking that EA is a lot better, which is obviously good, and EA is trying to increase their presence of, you know, not being a dick company, trying to be a nice company that's kind, and obviously giving money to charity, and that kind of thing. Now, people might wonder why they're doing this, but I think it's been about two years in a row EA has been voted the worst company in America so they are getting a lot of bad press and even though that people do like their games they don't really like them as a company and the kind of things that they have been doing in the past haven't been very good but as of late they're trying to improve that and like I mean when they removed online passes that was a very good move by them however then they went and upped the price of games in India by 133% so that was kind of a terrible move and I don't think they should have gone with that and then they go and do something like this which is a really good move so I think they're trying new ways to kind of be good as a company but still trying to draw money in so I, I reckon if they just go good as a company they're going to see their profits rise anyway because that EA makes good games let's just get around the fact they make good games some people don't like them but most people do and if they start to act as a good company then people will probably appreciate them a lot more I mean I like the games that EA does create but they have made some very bad business decisions in the past obviously with the rising of game prices in India that being one of them but they are trying to increase that and as seen with some more recent news because I was a little bit late to the Humble Bundle news is that now that they're introducing a new thing with Origin that allows you to refund a game now this isn't really like you can buy a game and refund it you know a month or two down the track it's got specific guidelines to it but it does sound like a really good thing especially for the digital market and we might see some good stuff coming in the future on PC and maybe Steam will try and incorporate refunding of games but currently at the moment it is only for EA games so it's not for anything but most things on Origin are obviously owned by EA now the, the way that this works is 20 24 hours after the first time you launch the game, you are able to get a refund on the game. Um, and within seven days of the date of purchase, so if you buy a game and you haven't played it, as long as you try and refund it before the seven days are up, you can or seven days after the release date for the game. So if you buy Battlefield 4 and it's seven days after October or whenever it ends up coming out, then you can't refund the game anymore. So I think this is a good move by EA. However, EA's prices on Origin are still quite high, so I don't really see many people buying a game on Origin. I personally have yet to buy a game straight off Origin. All the games that I do buy are from third parties that are able to sell it for a better price for me, but it seems a little bit ridiculous some of their prices considering they don't have to pay shipping costs and all that kind of stuff. So I'm happy with what EA is trying to do and I hope they can continue along this path and make some good business decisions and just be seen as a better company and just be you know nicer and kinder to gamers in general. So anyway this brings me out of my commentary I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and if you've got any comments about the EA Humble Bundle or just basically EA's image just put it down below and if you want to join the gamerhood just subscribe. Anyway I'll see you guys next time.